Understanding Electrical Equipment, a Comprehensive Guide. Welcome to today's video where we're about to unravel the fascinating realm of electrical equipment. From the devices powering our homes to the technology that drives industries, we'll cover it all. So, let's jump right in. But first, let's start with the basics. What is an electrical equipment? Electrical equipment is an item used for generation, conversion, transmission, distribution, or utilization of electric energy. From the moment we wake up to the time we go to bed, electrical equipment surrounds us. Think about your morning routine, turning on lights, using a toaster, charging your phone. All of these actions involve electrical equipment. At the heart of electrical equipment is the concept of power generation. Electricity is generated through various means, including fossil fuels, nuclear reactions, and renewable sources like solar and wind. This power is then distributed through intricate networks to reach our homes, businesses, and industries. One of the key aspects of electrical equipment is its diversity. It encompasses everything from simple devices like switches and outlets to complex machinery used in manufacturing and data centers. Electrical equipment can be broadly categorized into several types, such as generation equipment, distribution equipment, control equipment, and utilization equipment. Examples of such items are electric machines, transformers, switchgear and control gear, measuring instruments, protective devices, wiring systems, and current using equipment. Electrical equipment used in the electrical installations of buildings is usually designed to convert electrical energy into mechanical, thermal, and light energy, that is, it is current using equipment. Electrical equipment for protection, isolation, switching, control and monitoring shall be selected and erected to provide for the safety and proper functioning for the intended use of the installation. Classification 1. By the type of electricity required to power electrical equipment. Depending on the type of electricity required to power electrical equipment, it can be DC or AC electrical equipment. In the electrical installations of buildings, AC electrical equipment is usually used, which is usually single-phase or three-phase electrical equipment. Single-phase electrical equipment should be considered electrical equipment that usually has two leads and is designed to be connected to a phase conductor, a neutral conductor, or two-phase conductors. Single-phase electrical equipment may also have three terminals to which two-phase conductors of one phase and a neutral conductor are connected. Such electrical equipment is used in single-phase three-wire electrical systems. Three-phase electrical equipment with three or four terminals are connected to either three-phase conductors or three-phase conductors and a neutral conductor. Two, according to the methods of protection against electric shock. Protection is achieved by a combination of the constructional arrangements for the equipment and devices, together with the method of installation. Current using equipment shall be classified in accordance with the major classes of 0, 1, 2, and 3. The use of protective provisions in the several classes of equipment is described in the table you see on the screen. If it is not appropriate to classify equipment and devices in this way, technical committees shall then specify the relevant methods of installation for their products. For some equipment, compliance with the classification can be achieved only after installation, e.g. where the installation prevents access to live parts. In this case, suitable instructions shall be provided by the manufacturer or responsible vendor. 3. Classification according to the operating characteristics of electrical equipment and its preferred field of application. According to the operating features, all electrical equipment is divided into two groups. The first group includes electrical equipment that should be inaccessible to the general public. It must be operated by instructed and electrically skilled person. The second group includes electrical equipment of household and similar purposes, which can be operated by ordinary persons. 
The standard IEC 61326-1-2020 defines two terms that divide all electrical equipment into two groups according to the area of its preferred use. Class A equipment. Equipment suitable for use in all locations other than those allocated in residential environments and those directly connected to a low-voltage power supply network which supplies buildings used for household purposes. Class B equipment. Equipment suitable for use in locations in residential environments and in establishments directly connected to a low-voltage power supply network which supplies buildings used for household purposes. 4. Classification of electrical equipment by connection method. In the electrical installations of buildings, electrical equipment is connected to the conductors of electrical circuits by means of various clamps and similar connecting devices that ensure its permanent connection or by means of plugs and socket outlets that allow connections, as required. According to the method of connection, IEC standards and other documents divide electrical equipment into permanently connected electrical equipment and pluggable electrical equipment. 5. By degree of mobility. Depending on the degree of mobility of electrical equipment that can be realized during its operation, IEC subdivides all electrical equipment into fixed, stationary, mobile, and handheld electrical equipment. IEC standards additionally distinguish portable, movable, and movable electrical equipment, as well as its specific types, for example, household appliances, lamps, and equipment, characterized by a certain degree of mobility. Thank you for joining us in this journey through the world of electrical equipment. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.